Well, the health ministry in Gaza says at least four patients in that hospital have now died because of lack of oxygen after the generators were stopped and the power was completely cut off during that raid. They also said that they uh, fear that uh, other patients, including children in the hospital's nursery, could suffer uh, the same fate. And they appealed to the international community to intervene before they said uh, it's too late. Now, these claims are from the health ministry in Gaza, which is, of course, controlled by Hamas, but they seem to be corroborated by uh, other independent sources like Doctors Without Borders, who has, uh, which has the, their own medical staff inside the Nasser Hospital. They said uh, that the Israelis shelled the hospital, even though earlier they told patients and medical staff that they could remain uh, inside. Uh, well, they had to, for they were forced to evacuate their medical staff, leaving patients behind, they said in a statement, and described chaotic scenes where uh, there were also an um, undetermined number of people who died and were injured. As you mentioned, the Israeli Defense Forces said they decided to storm the hospital on the base of intelligence uh, that uh, said that uh, hostages, that uh, Israeli hostages were previously being held uh, at the Nasser Hospital and also that the bodies of dead Israeli hostages uh, could still be uh, in there. But so far, they have provided no evidence of either claim. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.